To the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, welcome everybody. Excuse me, sorry. one. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the February 14th commissioner's meeting. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, signed by Commissioner I'll approve the minutes of the February 14th meeting. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. I'm two. Make a motion to recess the commissioner's meeting and open the salary board at still nine o'clock. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, signed by Commissioner Arnold. Close the recess the commissioners and open the salary board. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And off to the salary board we go. <coughs> salary board. Um, make sure the note says that the district attorney is not present. Okay, item one. Make a motion to approve the minutes of the December 13th salary board meeting. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen. Approve item one to approve the minutes of the December 13th salary board. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Item two. I'll make a motion. To, never mind. I'll make a motion to approve item number two as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Okay. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen. Approve item two on the agenda. Great temporary part-time task force dare instructor, effective March 1st through June 30th, 2018, salary of $15 an hour with no benefits for the recommendation of the district attorney. Questions or comments? Oh, the district attorney's here, please. Hey, Love the district attorney's here. We have a chair right here. We have a chair right here for you. <laughs> it's like church, you come late, sit up front. That's right. So we're actually on your motion, and um, Marianne has made a motion, Elizabeth has uh, Second of it, and any okay. questions or comments? Yes. Do we have an average of how many hours per week they will be working? Uh, not at this point. Um, as of the beginning of March, the program will start with the classes, and uh, the classes are intended to be 40 minutes long, but we're not sure that that, it may be a little bit longer than that. I'm guessing it will be with, with kids involved. There's going to be a certain amount of flexibility. And what was the grade level on this? I forgot. Was it fifth grade? Fifth grade, yes. Starting. And that's all right. And I just walked in. And do we have all six county schools? Yes, all six county schools are participating. Good job. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 So okay. Item number three. I'll make a motion to approve item number three as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, signed by Commissioner Arnold, approve item three, eliminate the position of Chief County Detective slash Director of Public Safety, effective February 28th. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Sorry. Okay. <laughs> You're all done if you want to leave you again. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thank you for Might coming. Be a little distracted. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say so long. <laughs> 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 item number four. Make a motion to approve item number four as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, signed by Commissioner Arnold, to change position of Assistant Public Safety Director slash 911 Coordinator to just 911 Coordinator. Questions or comments? Um, I guess I do have a comment. Um, to stay at the same salary, to change the position and stay at the same right, salary. Right, should say stay at the same salary. And you're okay with that change, Elizabeth? Yes. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 No carrying. Item five. I'll make a motion to approve item number five as listed on the agenda. I'll second it. Okay. Motion by Treasurer Miller, second by Commissioner Warren to change the organizational structure, removing the position of accounts payable payroll clerk from Treasurer's office to the Commissioner's office, effective February 28th. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So carried. Item six. Make a motion to approve the approve item number six with the addition of staying at the same salary. Staying at the same salary, I guess. Okay. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen to approve item six with the addition of staying at the same salary. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any public comment on the salary board? Oh, I'm sorry. 
Go ahead. Okay. You've got, uh, on four and six, I assume you have people just transferring into the, the new job title. It's the same people. We're just changing yeah. things and, and who they're reporting to. But, but you've established a position of the director of HR without setting a base salary for it. Mm. No, the salary stays the same. So whatever the salary is, is the salary for that position right now. So, so it's not it's not really a set salary. It's not a base salary. It's a salary right. due to the individual having, there. having what right. they already there have. There is no there is no set base on it. So what happens is the next time uh, that position becomes vacated and gets filled by a, a person either in a, a lateral transfer or someone from the outside, the base salary will get set then. Okay. Any other public comment? Hearing none, item eight. Make a motion to close salary board and get back to the commissioner's meeting at 9.06. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Treasurer, you're free to go or unless you want to stay for the... No, let's stick around. All right, good. Glad to have you here. Item number four. Make a motion to approve item number four as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, signed by Commissioner Arnold to approve item four. Approve the cash disbursements, electronics payments. <coughs> oh, questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 So carried. Item five. Make a motion to approve item number five as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Warren. Approve item five on the agenda. Approve the following seminar and travel request or payments. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 So carried. Item number six. Make a motion to approve item number six is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, signed by Commissioner Arnold to provide item six on the agenda, except with regret, resignation of Robert S. Stout from the position of Chief Clerk, Chief County Detective and Director of Public Safety. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Seven. Make a motion to approve item number seven is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, signed by Christian Arnold, approved item 7, to acknowledge the hiring of Jillian Smith of Montrose to the open union position of second deputy clerk of courts for the recommendation of Jan Kripinski. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. All right. So carried. 8. Make a motion to approve item number 8 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, signed by Christian Arnold, approved item 8 on the agenda. To appoint Anthony Ventello, the Central Bradford Progress Authority, serve the, on the Northern Tier Regional Planning and Development Commission Comprehensive Economic Development Strategy, Strategic Steering Committee. Well, that's a mouthful. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Number nine. Make a motion to approve item number nine as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold, approve item 9 on the agenda. We appoint Joe Ellen Green and Elliot Ross to serve on the Agricultural Preservation Board. Questions or comments? I just want to make a comment that there's still a farmer opening on the Ag Preservation Board to be filled. That's good to know. Is there an area they have to be from yeah. or just from the yeah. county? You got that, Bill? Thank you. Tell the Farm Bureau. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 10. Make a motion to approve item number 10 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold, approve item 10 on the agenda, adopt the resolution 2018-1, imposing a temporary countywide burn ban effective March 15th through April 13th. Questions or comments? Yes. Do we have the, the request from the, the fire chiefs? Yes. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item 11. I make a motion to approve item number 11 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold, approve item 11, DOT Proclamation 2018 dash. No, I'm going to have two 1801s. Yeah, and one's a resolution, one's a proclamation. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Right. 1801 designated March as a National Social Worker Month in Susquehanna County. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 12. Make a motion to approve item number 12 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold to approve item 12 to adopt Proclamation 201802 proclaiming March 2018 as Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. 13. Make a motion to approve item number 13 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold to approve item 13 to advertise for bids for the replacement of 
seven rooftop high vac units for the county office building. But that will be available March 9th at Greenman and Peterson. Questions or comments? Yes. Where's Greenman and Peterson? They're in uh, Moosey. So people when companies wouldn't uh, request big packets from here. And if they do, they'll be directed to Greenman and Peterson. Okay. They're the engineers. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 14. I make a motion to approve item number 14 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, signed by Commissioner Allen, to approve item 14 on the agenda to sign an agreement with the Hickory Knob Association for lease of transmitter tower located at Hickory Knob, Susquehanna, PA, at so stated coordinates for a period of 20 years, commencing on March 15, 2018, at the rate of 1500 a month for the first year, an annual increment increase of 3% for the recommendation. Bruce Butler, Assistant Public Safety Director. Mm. And of course, that is just the 911 coordinator now. Questions or comments? Yes. Is this a new tower? It's a different tower. We'll be, they're moving from the uh, one in Halstead out to that one. It'll give us better coverage. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 15. I'll make a motion to approve item number 15 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, second by Christian Allen, approve item 15 on the agenda to sign the purchase service agreement between Susquehanna County Services for Children and Youth and the County of Tioga for the term <laughs> of July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Must be those guys with the tower. Right. Sixteen. Right. I'll make a motion to approve item number sixteen is listed on the agenda. <coughs> I'll second that. Okay, motion by Christian Warren, signed by Commissioner Arnold to approve item sixteen on the agenda. Sign the provider agreement between Susquehanna County Children's Youth and a Banco International Incorporated in Fairfax, Virginia. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 17. Is this something new on the agenda? Yes. I'm going to wait there just Okay. I'll make a motion to approve, but I need to understand it. I don't know what CCCF is. The person. Susquehanna. Oh, I don't know. I was going to note that one. Okay. Well, we beat you to it. Okay. Well, I'll make a motion to approve mm -hmm. what's listed with the change in SCCF. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold to sign an agreement with LexisNexis renewing service for the Susquehanna County Correctional Facility for a period of 3118 to 22821 and a monthly rate of 553. Questions or comments? Do the prisoners have access <coughs> to, to, the, um, to the computer use of, of the LexisNexis? I don't think they have access to the LexisNexis. No, that's for our internal use only. Well, they can research, but as far as for the paid program, that's done, that's used by the, the jail. <laughs> they can Google anything they want. How much computer time do they get a day? Probably more, I don't know exactly, so I'll leave it at that before I get in trouble. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> item 18. I'll make a motion to approve item number 18 as listed on the agenda. <coughs> I'll second that. Sorry. <laughs> I was mm. Motion. <laughs> I don't have a cold. I don't have a cold. It's okay. <laughs> motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen to correct the, due to a clerical error, motion made by on February 14, 2018. For item 19 is a notification. Um, 19, note, bid packs for the clock tower project have been reviewed by the engineering firm and solicitor. The project has been awarded to C&D Waterproofing Corporation, Bloomsburg, PA, with a bid of three ninety four four seventy five, that's different than what we originally thought in the meeting because there was an add on page to that that we didn't review. Oh, the one that came in at three sixty. Yeah. 360? Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna ask. Yeah, there's an add on page in the back for all the add on things that go with it, and I only looked at the front page. So, C and D was the. Uh, I assumed there was a reason that they yeah. didn't meet the. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any public comment? Yes, William. <laughs> Has the sewage problem at the jail been corrected? Yes, it's been corrected. It's fine now. 
Uh, we have to probably gonna we're gonna have to do an upgrade to it. Um, the system's you know like 30 years old and it is rotting out in the tank, so we're gonna have to do some repairs to it. So we're getting bids on it now, but I estimate it'll be probably 50 to 70 thousand dollars. The pumps alone are like 25 thousand, so we're gonna try and reuse the pumps, but. Those must be good pumps. They've been there for 30 years. So, any other questions? Getting out of this easy today? All right. Hearing no more public comment, we do have a couple announcements. Marianne, you've got some stuff to announce. Why don't you go ahead with that? As everyone knows, or I think knows, um, we haven't had a literacy council in Susquehanna County for many years. And um, the commissioners have been on top of that trying to get someone to step up to, to do that. Um, I spoke with um, Treehab last week, and they're applying for grants through the Department of Education, and, uh, and it fits well because they already work on GEDs, and they have workforce investments. So they go from one side to the other, and uh, literacy fits right in. And, and in talking to people that were part of the Literacy Council prior, they don't think that a standalone program would sustain itself in Susquehanna County, and that's why we don't have one. So I think that um, you know we'll continue to work with Treehouse, and I think that's where Literacy Council will come. And in speaking about Literacy Council, um, on Friday I'll be, um, instead of going to Ag Day, I'll be going to the Mountain View School on uh, Read Across America. and. Um, reading Dr. Seuss books um, because it's Dr. Seuss' birthday on Friday and I'm um, pleased to have been asked and to be able to go. Um, I'll get to the Ag um, days later, <laughs> but I think it's important. Yeah, for pie, of course. Um, <laughs> but I think it's important um, that our children know that, you know, who, who their representatives are, who's who's out there, you know, and um, it fits in with, you know, not having a literacy council and promoting books and reading to the kids, so that's all I have. And I'll be at Ag Day at the legislative meeting with Farm Bureau, and Alan will be learning how to write grants. So we're all going to be somewhere on Friday, and then I will be judging pie, and Mary Ann will hopefully be back in time to judge pie. And I hope you both bring me some, save me some pie, so when I get back I can have some. <laughs> Not, a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. Yeah, so we're kind of all spread over Friday. Uh, you know, the project that uh, Mary Ann's a part of at the Mountain View School, I mean, that's it's all about literacy and the kids, and so that's pretty important. Of course, Ag Day is all about the kids, and that's pretty important. Elizabeth's going to be representing the county there, and I will be uh, at a seminar for grant writing and for the building of new 911 and public safety buildings. I'll uh, be working on trying to find more grant money from the federal government. It's being held by the uh, uh, center, the uh, uh, National Center of Public Safety is who's putting the conference on. So it's a two-day conference that I'll be attending. So hopefully, uh, like I said, we're kind of all spread all over the place, but I'll try and represent and do everything we can for our taxpayers here. So, yeah. and we also have a lot of stuff on the table here. We have the resource day coming up. We've got the tick-borne disease program coming up. And we've got cards there for Penn State Extension. Uh, I will tell you, we've had a meeting with Penn State Extension. Everything's been pretty much worked out. They're going to give us a little bit more paperwork. Uh, and um, so it complies with our requirements we need for our auditors and stuff. And everything should be good. But there's a lot of stuff going on with Penn State and the services they offer. So people really should be looking at these cards and going online and getting the information. A, a lot, lot of, of courses. The courses that they offer on there. And um, some of them are, most of them are no charge, and some of them do have a charge, depending on what you're looking into. But the website is on there in those little cards. Uh, how many people are actually working down here now? What's that? How many people are actually working down here now? At For the, Penn State. Um, well, and that's one of the things we discussed. We have one full-time 4-H educator there, and we have one full-time office administrator that they're hiring now that will be there. Uh, they have floaters that come in and out all week long. Uh, they have dairy people, they have beef people, they have uh, horticulture, they have the master gardeners. Uh, basically what they're doing, because one county isn't big enough to sustain an educator for each program in it, they have educators in different counties that float back and forth and spend days in each county to try and provide the services so everybody gets the services. 
So although we're down to two people in the office, we used to have three, it looks like we are going to be getting a lot more services than we did before. Could I just comment on yeah, the, um, we used to have a family resiliency educator yeah. that went to the schools and worked through children and youth and was paid for with state monies and very little um, county monies. Um, we're looking to get that back in the county because we think that it's needed. So um, they're looking into that. We all need to say no. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Okay, motion to second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank, Thank you all for coming. Thanks for.